This question is from the Cambridge specimen paper. So let's check it out. A star have a luminosity known to be 4.8 times 10 to the power 29 watt. All right. A scientist observing this star finds that the radiant flux intensity of light received on Earth from this star is 2.6 nanowatt meter negative 2. So basically what we're saying is, you know, there was a star. And then by the time you reach Earth, so this is our little blue planet, Earth, that the radiant flux intensity has decreased. Okay, so it starts to be here, and then the intensity drops as it travels towards Earth. Okay, so name the term used to describe an astronomical object hmm. with known luminosity. So this known luminosity is a big hint here. This is our standard candles. Okay, so they are not asking for the type or, or an example of standard candles. They're just asking you the term. So standard candle. Okay. Determine the distance of the star from the Earth. Well, well, from the star, from you know, we got a radiant flux intensity of 2.6 times 10, nano, right? So nano is 10 to the power negative 9. And this is equal to L because it is intensity. So it's L over area. Okay. So I know the luminosity. This is 4.8 times 10 to the power 29. And the area is 4 pi d squared. So remember that we're dealing with different, different surface area as the power spreads out. Okay. So we're talking about a larger and larger surface area. Okay. So we're going to look at what is the distance from, you know, this is my surface area. What is the distance to a d? So pretty straightforward. Quote the equation. Okay, and then solve the equation by finding D. So if I press my calculator, this is 3.83 times 10 to the power of 18 meters. And you would probably want to write this in two significant figures because all the values given here is 2SF. 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 We will also write 2SF. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay, moving on. But no problem if you write an extra SF, not a problem. All right, so part B. The sun, okay, our good old sun, has a surface temperature of 5800 Kelvin and the lambda max for the, for the lambda max of light for which the maximum rate of emission occurs from the sun is at 500 nanometer. Okay, the scientists observing the star in A Okay, still the same star that we talked about just now. There was 3.8 times 10 to the power 18 meters away from us. Finds that the wavelength for which the maximum rate of emission occurs at 430 nanometer. All right, part one. Show the surface temperature of the star is approximately 6700 Kelvin. Explain your reasoning. So obviously, if I see wavelength and I see temperature, I think of Wayne's displacement law. So I'm gonna just name drop, casually name drop Wayne's displacement law, where our lambda max is, uh, you know, directly proportional to one over t. So this means the wavelength of the sun divided by the wavelength of guess our star will be equal to the temperature of the star inversely proportional divided by the temperature of our sun. Nice. All right, so the lambda of sun we have, let me draw a line here, 500 nanometer divided by 430 nanometer. This will be equal to the temperature of the star divided by 5800. So by rearranging, I can find the temperature of the star it would be 6740. 6740, okay? And of course, if we round this to 2SF, because everybody is 2SF, 6700 Kelvin, shown. 
right? So the key thing that we're looking for is Wynne's disbursement law, the statement, this one will be C1, okay? And then if you show the right ratio substitution, this is another C1, which by the way, since I didn't mark this with you, for this one, this is fairly straightforward. If you write the equation, this one mark C1, and then the final answer is one mark A. Okay, so not just L over A, but L over 4 pi D squared, the whole thing, right? And then substitution leading to the answer. All right, so that's it for this one. Okay, for Wayne's displacement law, at the end of the day, what we're looking for is the temperature of this new star that the scientists are observing. Okay, so using all the information that we have, you are asked to determine the radius of the star. So in this case, we need to bring in our good friend, Stefan, Stefan, Stefan Boltzmann Law. Of course, if you don't know the name, that's fine. Okay, you can even copy the equation of Stefan Boltzmann Law uh, inside uh, from the formula sheet. That will be L is equal to 4 pi sigma r squared t to the power of 4. Okay. So it's either you use the equation or you can, you know, derive from the relationship between intensity and temperature. Okay, this is faster, all right? So we already know the luminosity, okay? Just, just, there we go. Luminosity is 4.8 times 10 to the power of 29. So we put that in. 4.8 times 10 to the power of 29. 4 pi. We can find the Stefan Boltzmann constant from your formula sheet 5.67 times 10 to the power negative 8 r squared and the surface temperature is 6700. Teacher, should I use 6700 or 6740? My recommendation is to stick to 2SF because the mark scheme will show you 2SF. So if you your intention is to follow the uh, precision of the question. Right, that is the intention. We want to follow the precision of the question. All right, so 6700 to the power of 4. And if you press your good old friend, Casio, the calculator, this will be 1.83 times 10 to the power of 10 meter. Okay? Look, these numbers are going to be really big because we're talking about stars, right? So we're going to put that in. 1.8 times 10 to the power of 10 meter. And that's it. You know, it's pretty straightforward. And if you substitute everything correctly, you get one mark. And if your final answer, no calculator error, you get a second mark. That's it for this question. Pretty straightforward. So remember, everything is linked in your study of astrophysics so far. From luminosity, L, to radiant flux intensity, F, to the distance of the star, to the surface temperature, wavelength, and finally the radius of the star. Okay, so if you haven't yet, pull out a piece of paper, write down the equations, and figure out how they are related to each other. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.